Yeah, it's a, it's a half arrow. No, no, no. Did you come across a half arrow in geometry? Yeah, so a ray is a line that goes on forever and ever. Okay? A line segment has a finite length, but it has a direction. Okay, that's why they are, they are used for uh, representing uh, vectors. So when you have a vector like this, this is your initial point. Okay? And this here is your terminal point. Okay? And the coordinates are given to you. The coordinates are given to you. So it's easy to plot that. It's easy to plot that. Okay? Now if I go back for a minute to the geometric definition and our conclusion that all these vectors are equal, all these vectors are equal, then hey, why don't we write each vector as OP instead of A, B, C, D, or whatever the other one is? It's nice to write it as OP because then it's starting out at the origin. You guys with me on that? Okay. So OP as a vector represents any one of these other vectors. And it's much nicer because it's starting out at the origin. Okay? All right. So we're going to use that as a convention. So that leads us directly to a component form. Okay? So that concept of taking the vector and making it move to the origin leads us to the component form. So here's how you write a component form. Okay, now pause this here for a minute, okay? So get this down and I'll like... So what I mean is make sure you put things in these angle brackets. That denotes a vector. <coughs> there will be two numbers in there, okay, separated by a comma. Also notice that this is bolded, which means that when you are writing vectors in your notes, make sure you do something like this, okay? Don't just write a U. Okay, I'm very, very <coughs> anal. I'm very anal about it because this is notation. You've got to do the right notation. Okay, so my claim is that vector OP is given by 4, 4 by this. So let's go back to your notes and see how I get that. Everybody got this down? Yeah? Okay, let's go back to our notes and... <coughs> Okay, remember what I told you, okay? I told you that a vector in angle brackets is written as the x length, comma, the y length. So, uh, so if you look at the vector OP, this one here, then its x length is 4 units and its y length is 4 units. Hence the vector OP written like that is equal to the vector U written in component form as its x length and its y length. Everybody get that notation? <laughs> Sorry? No, I mean, letters are either given by a 2U, like on a question, or typically they use U and V. Okay, th those are the two letters that they typically use. Okay, so let's go and find out how to represent vectors in component form, okay? So notice that all I'm giving you right now is notation, notation, notation. So here's an example. Okay, so the vector in geometric form is given as a comma b with its a coordinate or starting coordinate negative 8 comma 3, that's your a, and your b coordinate is negative 4 comma 7, okay? 
then to put it in component form, all you need to do is follow this rule here. Follow that rule. So what it's saying is that that vector is equal to the x coordinate of the terminal. So remember, this is terminal. This is initial. So what's the x coordinate of the terminal? Negative 4. And initial? Negative 8. So negative 4 minus negative 8. Oops. Comma. The y coordinate of the terminal, 7 minus the y coordinate of the initial. So you can see that the answer is 4, comma, 4. So everybody know how to go from a geometric form to a component form now. OK? Uh, yeah. So geometric form would need this with the coordinates of the two points. OK? So geometric form needs the two coordinates of the initial point and the terminal point, the xy coordinates. OK? Whereas in component form, it's just two numbers within angle brackets. OK? Two numbers within angle brackets. All right? <coughs> Next concept, magnitude of a vector. Remember what Charik told us, okay? A vector has two quantities, a magnitude and a direction, okay? So the magnitude is given by, very similar to what we've done before. Okay, notice that this vector AB a, was like this. Okay? It had its x magnitude was 4 and its y magnitude was 4. Okay? So you know that its length is going to be equal to square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared from the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So if you're given a vector like in this form here, in component form, as 4, 4, then the magnitude is this. Right? Does everybody understand that? Okay. Everybody understand that? Okay. My claim to you is that the magnitude of this vector is 1. Show that to me. I'll pause this for a minute and you guys show that to me. Uh, what's the rule for magnitude? Well, the way you write the magnitude would be like this. Okay? Sorry? <coughs> Sorry? Is it equal to 1? Okay? Your magnitude is equal to square root of, you take this number and you square it. Get 2 over 4. Everybody with me on that? Then you take this number and you square it. 